Ahsoka Part 7 brought back Senator Hamato Ziono. He's a character that was introduced in Star Wars Resistance, which can provide even more insight into who he is. It might make you like him even less if that's possible. Shout out to actor Nelson Lee, who is portraying Ziono excellently. People seem to universally hate the slimy senator, which means he's doing a great job. So the main character of Star Wars Resistance is Hamato's son, Kazuda. He is part of the New Republic Navy, but he decides to join the Resistance after having a run-in with the First Order. He calls his father to tell him, who basically just berates his son for joining a group of extremists. So Hamato has the same attitude towards the First Order as he does towards the Imperial Remnant. He writes them off as sensational and borderline non-existent, posing no threat to the New Republic. The thing is, Hamato is the senator of the Hosnian system. You know, the planets we see destroyed by Starkiller Base in The Force Awakens. So it would appear that he was obviously wrong about Thrawn and the Imperial Remnant, but he suffered no consequences for that because he remains the senator of the Hosnian system all the way up until it was destroyed. He remained apathetic in the face of the First Order, and this time it cost him his life and the lives of all the people he represented. Except, wait a minute, it actually didn't cost him his life, because he appears in Star Wars Resistance Season 2 after the destruction of his home. He tells Kaz he and the rest of their family were off-world when the attack happened, and then urges his son to get as far away from the Resistance and the fighting as he can. So you're telling me that the entire New Republic Senate was destroyed on Hosnian Prime, except for the senator of that very planet? Dude, come on, that is incredibly suspicious. It's led lots of fans, myself included, to think that Hamato Ziono may have been in league with the First Order. We know from books like Bloodline that they were making allies with New Republic senators, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if Hamato were one of them. I think it's possible he didn't know the full extent of their plans or power. He could have just seen personal gain in the Alliance. Maybe he saw the cycle repeating over and over with the Empire, the Imperial Remnant, and the First Order. And maybe he got tired of having to stay vigilant against the same enemy time time after time and he gave up. But that's the most generous read of that scenario I can give. It's still awful and it still cost countless lives of the people he was meant to protect. I have to admit that this is partially speculation. I think Hamato Ziono's survival is suspicious, but it's not absolute confirmation that he was working with the First Order. There was probably more to learn in Star Wars Resistance. Maybe Ahsoka will shed more light on him as a character. Who knows? He could turn things around and be a strong ally in the fight against Thrawn when the time comes. I doubt it, but it's possible. He might be working with the Imperial Remnant at this very moment. I don't know if we'll get a solid answer on that because it would be frustrating to see him actively working against the New Republic when we know he remains a senator all the way until the destruction of Hosnian Prime, but we'll have to wait and see. We don't know much about Hamato Ziono at the moment, but what little we've seen of him puts me on guard. Keep an eye on him in the future. And again, this is all frustration directed at the character and not the actor. Nelson Lee, you keep up the great work. Let me know what you think of Ziono in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for all our Ahsoka coverage, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page for video reactions and audio commentaries for every episode. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.